Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you how to create singular and archive templates with Oxygen. So to create a new template, go to Oxygen Templates and click Add New Template. I'm going to create a singular template for blog posts. So I'll call this blog post. And a singular template is a template that displays one item at a time. For example, one post, one page, one instance of a custom post type. So to edit my template settings for the singular template, I'll choose where does this template apply. I'll click singular, and then I will choose the post type that I want it to apply to. In this case, I want to apply it to my blog posts. So I'll check posts. In addition, you have filtering options to only apply the template if taxonomies, tags, categories match the choices here, or if the post parent ID matches the choice selected here. I won't use any of these filtering options now. Now I'm going to set this template to inherit my main template to get my header and footer. Then once I've edited the settings, I'll have to save them before editing with Oxygen. And now let's edit the template with Oxygen. So once we're editing a singular template, we can preview every piece of content that this applies to. So I have three blog posts on my site. We could preview each of these. Let's design the layout for our blog posts. So I will add in a section. I'll add in a heading for the post title. Double click to edit. Click insert data. And now I can insert the title of the singular post that we are displaying. Let's center all this. Adjust the styles a little bit. I can add in the date. Let's choose date. For more details on this, uh, watch the dynamic data video. That covers how to insert data from your WordPress database, like your post title, date, custom fields, etc., into your posts. Let's go to my title, my date. Now let's go ahead and add in the post content. Double click to edit, insert data, content. And we may want to adjust the styles of this just a little bit. Go 21 size spacing, max width. That's probably the most common mistake I see on blog post layouts is that the line lengths are just far too long. And typography, text align, left. Okay, and now we can preview our other posts that this template applies to. Okay, so that is how to create a singular template. Now let's create an archive template. So an archive template is one that applies to a list of many of a certain post type. For example, many blog posts, many WooCommerce products, many job listings. So to add a new template, click Add New Template. We'll call this Blog Archive, Publish, Inherit Main for the header and footer. And to make an archive template, go to Archive, and then you can choose to apply to all archives, archives for certain taxonomies, for example, categories, tags, job types, any other custom taxonomies you have on the site, post types, go post all custom post types on your site, authors, you can apply an archive only to posts written by a certain author, and a date archive. So I'm just going to apply this to all archives, update and then edit with Oxygen. Now we're currently previewing the posts archive. So that's a list of all posts on our site. So to actually display those posts, we will add in a section. Then we will add in helpers, easy posts. Easy post just displays a list of blog posts on the site. So here's that list. We have various settings for that here. Watch the easy post video for more details on using this element and it's that simple. That is how to create an archive template in Oxygen. So now you've learned to create singular templates and archive templates using Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.